If you were born here, you stay here, but behind bars. And if you weren't born here, you go back to whatever hellhole you came from. We're here in London to check out the Football Lads Alliance, maybe the newest movement to emerge out of the football stands in the UK. They say they're a bunch of football fans coming together against extremism, but other people have expressed concerns that this could open the gate to far-right sentiment and Islamophobia. The Football Lads Alliance formed after a series of terror attacks in the UK that left many questioning government tactics and responses to terrorism. Seemingly coming out of nowhere, despite this being only their second ever demonstration, the FLA managed to attract thousands of football fans from across the country. However, their use of social media to call for fans to set aside their differences and stand up to terrorism has led to comparisons with far-right groups of the past. So we're the FLA, we're here to make a stand against extremism, so that the younger generation of children and grandchildren can live a normal, enjoyable life without having to live in fear. We're the FLA, to put forward proposals for change in a petition for which we will gain 100,000 signatures. We want all suspected terrorists who are non-British citizens and pose a threat to society to be permanently removed from the country. we should celebrate what binds us together, not what drives us apart. Every single person here, do you know what we are? We're the backbone of this country! And we be proud of what we're doing and what we're standing for. And you know, the far left throw all these accusations at us. They call us this and that. I want to tell you something. There's men standing here today that have done more to fight against fascism than anybody! Yeah. We can do this peacefully. If we get the numbers, we will win! So we just heard the speeches, including one from the Football Lads Alliance founder, John Meehan. They paid some lip service towards stamping out all kinds of extremism, but really most of the speakers only focus on a single type, Islamic extremism. And in terms of what they wanted the government to do about it, internment and deportations were mentioned, but they were pretty light on detail. One of the concerns of the FLA that was raised by Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott was that it might open the door to Islamophobia and right-wing extremism. We've already seen the former EDL leader, Tommy Robinson, here. So are the FLA a uh, successor to that group? I think it's too early to tell. I think there's probably about one woman to about every 10 men and even less ethnic minorities. Well, I'll tell you what, you're stereotyping there. It's, it, that's not fair. Wait, there's, but, all, there's people of all walks of life, persuasion, uh -huh. all sorts of things here. Yes, there are some right animals among that lot. Football hooligans from the 80s and 90s and the 70s, they're all behaving themselves. They obviously feel strongly about something, don't they? We're not against anybody. We're just, we just fed up of being taken for mugs, basically. What do you think should happen, then? I think the government needs to be a lot harder. We've got people fighting in, in, in the Middle East and then being allowed back. They're just being allowed back. Just 
just a group of people who are concerned about our family's welfare and our country. We don't harbour extreme views, um, but we, we shouldn't be afraid to talk openly about problems in our community. What was the petition asking for? If you don't have British citizenship and you're as a threat to our people, uh, our British people, then they have no right to be here. So, we need to be dragging these people out of their beds, OK, standing in two, finding out what's what, and then and only then do we let people go or, or, or take appropriate action. And the appropriate action is, if you were born here, you stay here but behind bars, and if you weren't born here, you go back to whatever hellhole you came from. You cannot have a cancer on the side of an animal and not cut it out. It will keep getting bigger and bigger. But okay? isn't that just going to alienate the community? I don't care. Oh. I don't care who it alienates. Right. It's alienating me in my own country. The, the main problem in Britain is Islamic extremism, and that is the issue. But you said in your speech you were against all kinds of extremism. Yeah, I am against all kinds of extremism, we but I'm saying to you, the main problem in this country is Islamic ex extremism. Mm -hmm. The percentages of attacks in the UK, what was the high percentage? Islamic extremism or far right extremism? Please mm -hmm. answer that question. I have one of these. But what about. No, no, I'm asking you a question, answer me. You've seen oh, it. You've seen oh, it. Everybody please. Yeah. Please. The but what about no, people exactly. like Joe Cox? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we're well, against that. We don't, I don't agree with that. Extreme, yeah. Extreme, yeah. Extreme, yeah. Extremism yeah. breeds extremism. Yeah. I think what you need to realise is, is that it's our society, it's our way of life, and we've had enough of it, and it's just not right anymore. And, we, and, and I'm not being funny. No disrespect to you, but people yeah, like right. you sitting on the fence is the reason why this country is like this. Because people need to come out and talk and take action. We accept all sorts of people here, but we accept them here on the terms that they, 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 they go with the flow and they accept our laws and our, our traditions. If they can't do that, you know, then they need, they need to be out of the phrase. If they are actively targeting and, and killing our people here, we can't tolerate that. Why should we? But most people, from, you know, like when you say these communities and these people, I mean, like coming from, you know, I'm from an immigrant background, like what exactly kind of. Mate, people we live on an island. We're all immigrants from somewhere. Yeah. All right. Everybody uh -huh. is an immigrant, all right? Yeah. Everybody on this island is an immigrant from somewhere. We live on an uh -huh. island, all right? Yeah. We are a community as one. So stop bringing one side in and the other side in. There mm -hmm. are people who are doing wrong and there are people who are doing right. You the, stand you, and go, you I am an ethnic, as if that gives you some Harry Potter cloak of invisibility, as if that's your, it your argument. I don't understand it. Doesn't. It doesn't. I'm just All, yeah, but you're a saying, yeah, but you're saying it. You're here in a sea go, of British people go on to, of every that, colour. Yeah. I came in this country mm -hmm. to live in this culture, all right? right? You come and live where I live, in Bristol, mm. and you hear Allah Wakbar every single day, five mm -hmm. times a day. He's not very happy. Why is this being allowed to happen that the Islamic communities are are acting with because impunity, like with impunity. This. Because of so people like this. this. Because of political Allah correctness. Akbar is because, because of, of people like correctness. this. Shall we get in? I think let's end it now. That's it. So the march is over and police have dispersed the crowds. And to the FLA's credit, it did stay largely peaceful. Obviously, the FLA have valid concerns. Everyone should feel safe in their own country, and they have a right to be concerned about their own safety. But it did seem like most of the people on the street were only really focusing on Islamic extremism. We didn't hear anything about Joe Cox or the Finsbury Park mosque attack, for instance. The leaders of the group are very concerned with making sure that the FLA doesn't become a racist or far-right street movement. But when you've got thousands of people in the middle of central London on a Saturday chanting out, 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 and we want our country back, it's going to be very hard to create the kind of unity that they talked about in their speeches, especially unity between different communities.